How do I deal with my girlfriend who has hit menopause and doesn't desire sex anymore? Well, obviously, you need to check with her doctor. And if there's medications, because we obviously know some people that have this issue and have personal experience. So, Jennifer, can you tell us a little bit about menopause from a woman's perspective? I have a lot of friends actually going through this right now. Um, it hasn't happened to me, but they have to go get hormones, testosterone, I think it is, that women take to get them. You know, it literally is just a medical thing. It's not pers It's nothing personal. Don't take it personally. It's just like our hormones are shifting. It's the same as when you're in high school and you've had this, like, set point and all of a sudden your hormones are, like, wonky and you're horny all the time and you can't think straight, can't concentrate. Well, the same thing happens on the back end when a woman can no longer reproduce. She, All of her hormones, like, settle back down. And so, like, we're going through a shift. So, like, you know, like... I'm like super horny level here when I'm 15 or 16 or 18 and then like 25 and 35, you're like peak, peak, peak. And then it kind of like chills in the 40s. But then like when women get to menopause and everybody's different, like some people are in their 60s, some in their 40s, you don't know. But you don't want to all the time. Like uh, it's just like 100% hormonal though. Just talk to your doctor and they've got all kinds of cool supplements and hormones that can – put you on and you will be back and at it. It's just a medical situation. What have you experienced? Have you experienced a drop? Like with your, your boyfriend, do you I reject would, him? Do you find yourself rejecting him more because you're not into it? No. Is he not courting you properly? No, like what's going on? When I met a him. Lot of time, I mean, the reality is if a woman feels heard and understood, the legs open. And if she doesn't, the legs close unless there's some kind of medical issue. And so the insinuation, the question is, She's going through menopause, so she's not as interested in sex. And well, obviously, you're experiencing that now. So, has it affected your sex like life of your or your drive? Well, I mean, when I met him, I was forty, and now I'm fifty two, and he's fifty six though. So he's also aging. So, um, I think that we kind of both chilled. But has it diminished your appetite or? Because a lot of these guys are complaining not, that they're like they're getting rejected constantly. Yeah, it's not She's like not that. Interested. It's not like that. Like where it's just a shut uh, an off button. If it's an off button, that's hormones. It's literally she just needs more testosterone. That's all it is. Or he's not dating and courting her properly. Yeah, it or could she be that feel too. Feel heard and understood. Uh, for me, it's been very gradual. But I have friends where it was dramatic, and within one year they went to sex, you know, multiple times a week to just couple times a month if and it was really quick for me it wasn't that way it was slow gradual from like my 40s it's just like not as much I'm not it's not like rabbits and like all that also we've just known each other a long time we're like you it's almost like being married and you get comfortable it's not like you're just bunnies like when you're tw in your 20s you're just horny rabbits it's crazy but I'm in my 50s. Like, I don't need it that much. I've already had my children, so my actual biological... But the bottom line is you're biological. not rejecting your boyfriend when he wants to have sex because of men. No, so no, that, no, That's what the guy's looking at because more than likely the girl's throwing it in his face going, oh, I'm going through menopause. I'm just not that into it. And the, Yeah, yes. 25% at least can but be attributed to that. are you rejecting your boyfriend when he wants to have sex at times? No, no, no. I mean, sometimes, go. like, it's... it's <laughs> A certain situation, like I'm exhausted from something. He's not but getting rejected. I think so. That's the important thing. So, like I said, when I see that kind of an email, it's he's probably not dating and courting his girl, or he's not making her feel heard and understood. Because I mean, Jen's going through it right now, and she's spending time and having fun with her boyfriend, and he ain't getting rejected of it. So, if your girl is going through menopause and she's not wanting to have sex, probably because you're not dating and courting her properly, or she doesn't feel heard and understood. And she That's should probably reality. see her doctor and get her hormones checked, too. Maybe. But in your case, you're going through it, and it's it's not affecting your libido with him. No. No. So, like I said, for the average guy, because that's what happens is women are, oh, it's menopause. I'm just, eh, I'm not feeling it. And At the end of the day, if a woman feels heard and understood, the leg's open. And if she doesn't, the leg's closed. And if you're not dating and courting her properly, same thing goes. I will say, though, that... So don't let it, the girl use that as an excuse. 
and you're it sounds right. legit. It could be either or, and it's his call. He's got to judge it and, and see it for what well, it is. Well, if he's dating and courting her properly, she yeah. feels heard and understood, but just she, she has no interest in it, then, yeah, I'd say it's a phys- physiological It could be biological thing. for sure. For sure. Because we don't have the drive to have children anymore because our reproductive system's like the factory's closed, like it's shut down, like closed for business retirement. So we don't have those hormones surging through our bodies like to procreate. So it's more like a casual in the background. He might have to put a little more effort into it, make sure she goes to her doctor and her hormones are okay. Mm -hmm. Or um, also depression makes people not want to have sex too or like a a stress or... You know, trauma, like all, their mental state too affects, you know, your drive. So you have to feel relaxed and happy. Mm-hmm. If you're preoccupied with shit, it kind of impacts it. Yeah. Or if they're taking certain medication. Medication too. Medications will. Well, that's a really good point. If you think about medication that people take. Yeah. That's something that. Well, it's people... like one out of every. Dominic was saying one out of every three women over 30s on some kind of. Psychotropic medication. Right. Some and of them do diminish. Dry, yeah. Some of them do diminish, and it's different for every person. But it will dry a woman up. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's and interesting. People don't talk about that. I I do believe that a lot of times it's probably the guy that's writing that in, who's getting rejected because she's you know he's not dating a corner properly or she doesn't feel heard and understood. It's not a. Some kind of physical thing. It could be a laziness. But for the average guy that doesn't know any better, doesn't understand the seduction process, the, oh, it's menopause, I'm just not yeah, in, the, in the sex anymore, that can sound legit. In reality, what she's saying, she's just not that into him anymore. Yeah. Because even though you're going through it, you're still... You're not throwing that in his face going, ah, I'm going through menopause, I'm not feeling it. No, but Obviously. everyone's different. Like, I'm that way, but that doesn't mean, like, somebody else has got different chemistry and who knows. It can be the... It, it has a lot to do with the person, for sure. It could be boring if they're just watching football every night and they're not doing anything. Well, that's why I talk about dating and courting. Yeah. A lot of guys just, you know, every re- weekend becomes the same routine. Order a pizza, some two-liter bottle of soda. That's all he needs. Watch some football. All he needs is that like a blowjob and he's good to go. go. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Perfect Saturday night. (laughs) But, you know, she has different needs. Maybe she wants to dress up and feel beautiful and fancy and wear her heels and be wined and dined and that's not his vibe. But why can't they do both? Yeah. It should be both. If you don't date and court your wife, somebody else will. Got to know her love languages and know what turns her on and, mm-hmm. like, lights her up on the inside and fires up her pilot light. I love that you just said that because I've had only one boyfriend who asked me what my love language was. Really? hmm Very surprising. I immediately ask when I meet people. Well, he asked me. I never cared. Um... And I was so surprised he sent me the test and everything. He's like, get on it. That's a self-aware guy. Very. Um, maybe he read 3% man. Yeah. I don't know. Possibly. He's Possibly. A, he 3% man. He was probably the only one who did. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, this is how I'm going to keep her. <laughs> Sorry. He didn't. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It, it was very interesting. I was like, wait, why do you want to know all this about me? He's like, Okay, I need to focus on this part and this part and how to do this better and this better. And I was green like, flag. Mm. And then I saw a couple red ones, so I was like, ah, <laughs> gotta let you go. <laughs> and the dump trunk showed up. Oh, red flags. Yeah. 